dear friends and welcome to Mystic Star Magic. Oh, so happy you are here. So, so happy you are here. Um, so today we're going to have a lot of fun. I'm actually doing um, one of the hot, like highly chosen um, readings like that you wanted me to do. If you want to be part of um, deciding what content you want me to create, just go check out the community tab and vote there. So this is why were you like, why were you meant to meet them, right? Um, so I'm excited to be doing this. Um, so let's go ahead and look at each pal. This is pal one. And if you, you know, like want a personal reading, there are like, there's information about contacting me. Um, or you could get it through Etsy as well. This is pal two. This is going to be pal three. And this is going to be pal four. All right, all right, so you can look at the images, you could look at the words, you could look at the numbers. So you have many different choices here. But I want you to connect to the person's um, energy, who you're thinking about. So maybe visualize them, um, hear their voice if you want. Um, or like if there's like special, yeah, I can see like special, like things about them. Just think about those things. Now let's go ahead and take a deep breath in. Close our eyes, concentrate on all, either the voice, the, the image, the special like things that only you know. And now as you exhale and open your eyes, choose whichever pile draws you to it. All right, let's do this. Oh, well, my friends from pile one. Okay, so we are actually going to see why <laughs> you were meant to meet this person. Okay, all right. Oh, there's a, it's an important thing here. Okay. So, hear me out on this one. <laughs> so we have the trust. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. And then there's a sense of community. Um, I feel like this, like the eight was really calling me when I saw the, the thing. So it's like infinite, like there's an, in, I feel like there's an infinite connection here as well as like, this connection was for your higher good. Um, it is a, almost a sense of, oof, okay, I'm getting this with this trust. It's like trusting your intuition, trusting your own guidance. And so it may be different for some of you. And um, But what I'm seeing here, it's almost like there's something special about this connection. Um, there is a sense almost like, yeah, like, like it's a soul family, at least like, the, the very minimum, there's a soul family connection here. Um, and so, <sighs> so we have these connections that come in and out of our lives. And I feel like, you know, like you're like, oh, okay. Um, but then there's few of them that are just really special that just kind of stay within you. Um, and there's like, and you, you intuitively knew that there was something special about this connection. Um, yeah <laughs> it's funny because i'm actually like there's like there's leaves so it's almost like to me there was maybe there was a lot of um different people you know putting their input in here um but i also feel like it was this connection helped you release some things like some change that needed to happen or maybe you helped this other person um shift and change there's also a sense of learning here how to heal the inner inner child here um and that might actually i feel like that's for for the other person as well like yeah hmm let's 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 look at the tarot but i feel like there's a sense of really learning to trust your own intuition really like out it outweighs what you like especially because i feel like there was like lots of other noises um, or like lots of people, you know, saying their opinions about stuff. And so I, I feel like what really the important thing here is that you learn to follow your own intuition. You learn to listen to your own guidance rather than um, everybody else, <laughs> right? This, and, and so I, I, I guess maybe if you want a confirmation, this is a special connection. I, I, I feel it here in my, in my, um, Solar plexus, actually. So let's look at this. So why did you meet this person? Oh, this one. OK. 
Okay. Nice cup. Okay. Okay. Sorry, I'm like trying to like, how am I going to make it so you can actually see? Okay. Wow, look at that. I do love this. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. So happy, like, lovely energy. Okay. There's a sense, again, with this page of swords, um, I almost feel like it, it's understanding, being able also to speak your truth, being honest. Um, like, <laughs> I want to say, like, honest, like, only a child can be honest. Um, you know how kids just say it like it is, tell it like it is. Um, they don't have that. I feel like that's sort of what it is. I, I really feel like there's a sense of needing to um, trusting what has to be said. Oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. That's like interesting. I think there is a sense here also of like... <laughs> you balancing out like like somebody who's very logical very like um like i almost feel like i want to say in the kindest way a little judgmental um and and you know like teaching them all about like intuition all about all those things um where there is like emotions about the importance of emotions and about importance of intuition it's almost like you gave this person a whole new perspective um and you showed them what love was or is. Mm -hmm. um, what else? I also want to say that um, there's, I, I don't know if this, I feel like this connection taught you that there is a sense of needing to work. Um, you know, put work in, in effort into things um, and that things do pay off. Even if it's like, even if, you know, like, it doesn't seem like that, all the work that you've been putting in, um, whether I, I really especially feel like towards yourself, like putting in all your, it's actually, it, it shows you that it pays off, like with this eight of pentacles with a nine of pentacles kind of going right next to it, sort of like, hmm. and, ooh. <laughs> that you don't necessarily like you can still be independent right you can still have your like i guess your own space and you be your own person but still have this connection still still find love um and be willing to 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 put your heart on the line i have like that's not something else because it went from the ace of cups to the ten of cups there was and i almost feel like there was a lot of like you know, headbutting a little bit. Um, mm -hmm, the hair front. I I want to say that's sort of again, sort of like your intuition here, but it's also a sense of maybe there's a a need for learning here, and I feel like the learning can come from like I feel like this connection was meant for like a learning. This was something it was meant for you to learn, and I feel like this is both you and the other person learning um, and then having this like movement forward there was <laughs> so there was movement there is movement knowing what you want and then kind of like going after it is what I'm seeing here as well I do actually want to um, let me see I want to clarify some few things um, I'm gonna actually use this one right here it's not going to clarify a whole lot but i just really want to clarify um yeah because i i feel like this connection has a potential for this ten of cups and this is of cups i do want to see um i'm going to clarify this knight of blades because i feel like it's sort of like taking action yeah three of, so planning so maybe there's a sense of of balancing so the planning with taking action instead of taking action right away there's a need for pause there's a need for for figuring things out okay in the chariot it was uh, it was wondering the chariot it's like the move on walk away oh it taught you a lot of things huh 
But sometimes you have to, like, the, the best way to move forward is walking away from something, even if there's hurt and pain there. Um, I do want to see, actually, what is between this. Like, because I can see you're heading off with this King of Swords, and I want to know why that is. Like, what's between this King of Swords and King of Cups? The Tower. Okay, so this is the ending, right? And the King of Cups. But I think in here, okay, I'm glad that I'm clarified that because I think, okay, so <laughs> both of you fall down. There's a, like a change, a shift and change. But I think the King of Cups is, is the one who I would say was proven right. Um, so I think in many ways, your own, your own intuition, I, your own heart, I don't, I don't think it ended well because you have these cards. I mean, not by ending well. I mean, you're, I don't think that you're together. But I think, and I don't know if you, if, if this is what maybe you have gotten it. It's actually, it, to me, it's a confirmation that, yes, putting your heart out there is important. That, yes, having, like, you know, logic is, is, is something that, like, can guide you. But intuition, heart kind of leads the way and, and leaving your heart open has the potential to give you like from turning something from an ace all the way to a ten of cups like fulfillment and joy and I do feel like even if this this connection didn't you know come to fruition in this in this manner yet um it changed this person and it also I hope confirms you your way of viewing like love. I do want to see what this hair font is. Nine of Cups, yeah. I do. I So there's some sort of wish fulfillment here. And then there's this Nine of Pentacles. So wish fulfillment in the sun, yeah. So I'm going to say something here. Maybe some of you, for some of you, it might resonate. For some of you, for others, it doesn't. But like one of the things that, like I said, you, you're learning to trust your intuition to like, you kind of know your guidance. You see the possibilities um, that maybe not everybody does. I do think that for some of you, even though this, there was a walking away, there was a tower, this person's actually changing. The, the King of Swords is changing, I'm starting to understand the King of Cups much more. There's a sense of like maybe someday um, some sort of real connection here. It's, it's not like, I won't say that it's a certain thing, but it's a possibility here. And also with the sun here, um, <laughs> even though it seems far away, I think there is like, there's a, a chance there. <laughs> like, why is, do I say that? It's because I see this ace and I see this ten of cups. And I do see that in the tower, the king cup was the one who actually, I think, was the one that was proven right, that I, like the I wouldn't say that's a victor, but it's sort of like that. And and it is, it was worth that. I also want to say that don't like, if you put effort into this, if you put like, you know, work into this connection, don't think that it was wasted. Okay. 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 So yeah, I do think that there is, <laughs> yes, psychic powers, um, intelligence. I do, like, for me, it's like, it's almost like learning to trust your psychic powers um, and learning to be who you are more. No more games, your partner has new goals. And I do think that this person does have new goals. We, that, could, that would be a totally different reading. But it's important to also, like, I feel like you're more focused on you know what you want now as well. The Declaration of Love. There, I, I do feel like there is a possibility of that coming through, but not regretting love, not regretting the love, the connection. That's a very important thing, not to regret, even though there's heartache here, heartbreak. Um, this really helped you, I, I feel like, um, learn to trust it, like learn to trust, because I feel like the, the King of Swords didn't learn to trust. His, the, his own or her own intuition, it, more like logical and, and I feel like a little judgmental here, um, pieces. And it like, I feel like even if like your heart broke, like things still, the pieces still come back together. I almost feel like you learn different things from different people by, by because you have an open heart. So I feel like that's basically what I, I'm gonna say, like having an open heart is so important to you. Uh, 
um, and whether you you're quite there yet or not, that's that's the meaning of this connection, like the importance of opening your heart and allowing love in. <laughs> it can change you, and it really, to me, it changed this. Do you change this other person? So that's an important thing for you to know. I think. Okay, what love messages? Like what message? Like it will help the collective group. One. So healing. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Fear your relationship being healed this very moment. So there is a sense of healing. Oh, I really do like this. This is a healing connection, whether you know it or not. <laughs> you heal. This is going to... I really think that this is going to heal. Okay. So I can't deny the fact that... Yeah, well, I do like romance and I do like happily ever afters, but it just feels it. Like, I feel like, like there's more to it. Um... But this was just the beginning. <laughs> this tower moment was needed to bring about real healing. So I hope you liked this reading. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. And please do consider subscribing. Um, and uh, just, you know, thank you for letting me read your cards. This is very, it's, there's a lot of love here. Just so you know. Okay. So with that, I am sending you so much love and so much light. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, my friends. from group two so you are here we're gonna find out why why did you meet this person um you know like what what was yeah why did you meet them? <laughs> okay so this is kind of like the overall energy here and so to me the chaos and the conflict is sort of like the tower um but like the tower in terms of well what what the real tower is meant to be it's sort of like discovering um like the tower kind of wipes away stuff that isn't really necessary it's something that you've been wanting to get rid of or maybe you've been asking for but <clears throat> we you know staying with with what we know what, what's comfortable um makes us kind of <laughs> try to um, prevent the change from happening so tower happens so what i'm seeing here with this connection or with this um why you met them it's sort of like you needed to find out more of who you were and, and who you are i also see the three three here i'm um, like there's a sense of balancing um like you know all as like the three aspects um spiritual physical um, and emotional and, and and that's sort of like for you and them. So this is actually a very, whew, a very beautiful connection. Because um, it's almost like, and it, and I'm saying this about you, but I'm actually thinking also about them. Sort of like you both were trying to be something you are not. Um, and so this connection sort of cleared that out of the way. It also taught you about love. So I'm committed to the practice of seeing the good in all things. And that's love, right? It's sort of not just like that love that it, that's, um, it was not a superficial love. It was a very deep love, or at least that's what your, that was the intention of this connection for, to show you what real love is all about, like unconditional love. This is like, where you can't, where you're not with this person, but you still wish them well. <laughs> and if you're not there yet, I, I think it's coming for you. Um, we do have that. We have this. Yeah, kind of on right. Oh wow, you have the Knight of Wands twice. <laughs> I also see that there's like a lot of. Um, what was I gonna say? It's a lot of mirroring i i like what i'm that that's why i would say like very soulmate connection twin flamey connection in there as well it's like there's you you and them are both very similar like that's the that's why the the three and three was important you also have the ten of of wands <laughs> knight of wands knight of wands oh i love this I, I you have no idea how like beautiful this is um, manifester, the creator, learning to create. Um, so, like, here is this energy of the Knight of Wands, following your passion, following your heart. <laughs> they 
I almost feel like both of you are the Knight of Wands, and this is the other energy, which is, yeah, like, still the same thing, um, kind of going after your dream. <laughs> it's funny that you have the Ten of Wands here, where you kind of see it's like a superhero, and they can handle all the Ten of Wands, but look, there's also the Ten of Wands where it's, like, too much, and I feel like that's kind of both of you. <laughs> You go through those, like, where you take on a lot. Both of, like, you are both somebody who takes on a lot. I feel like it's, so it's, again, sort of, hmm, learning to really follow your heart. Learning to, to, um, take a chance. That's just another thing here. But also, maybe taking on the things, like, for me, this is, like, all this creative creativity all these amazing ideas like kind of like creating all these beautiful things but this is like taking on all the like stuff saying yes to people just to so you know like just just to people please a little um and so i think you've like you learned the difference now you're it's so fascinating because i think this was you before and now this is you now like this is you're you're turning like okay if i'm gonna use my energy if i'm gonna do it then i'm gonna do all the, the like the awesome things that i really want to do versus like doing all the things that other people want me to do i'm very really, like i like this a lot i have to say let's just clarify this five of cups what is this five of cups doing here nine of wands what is this four of coins doing here ace of swords what is this eight of pentacles doing here Ten of Swords. Okay, what is this? Ten of Pentacles doing here. Six of Pentacles. Okay. I also see it as um Okay. <laughs> it it I almost feel like there's also a thing here that even though like and, and I don't and this is fascinating because it's it's not just about love, but it I think in general in life. So even if things don't work out, even if like you have this like spill, you make mistakes or something, what I think this like this connection really taught you is that you still persevere, you still move forward, you still like um kind of keep going, even if if you have this like if you have a bump in the road, you're just like, nope, you just keep going and you're more motivated and more determined. So like from this nine of wands, you go to this 10 of wands, like supercharged. Um, yeah, really, really liking that um, energy a lot. Interesting is, <laughs> I have to say, like, I also like this because like the, the four of coins could be, you know, like, like could be about like trying to hold on to because of scarcity like trying to you know like um penny pinch and stuff but i don't think this is at all this is true at all this is for me like you coming to clarity you coming you having this ace of swords of like hey your time is valuable like you are valuable and so you're not just gonna like you know like give it away <laughs> your love is valuable you're not just gonna like throw it away it's basically it is it's not that you're not giving it away it's not that you're it's just that you're not throwing it away like your time is valuable you're not just gonna do say yes to everybody say yes to everybody um and not really follow your own heart when you when you have this because i feel like part of this um very strong connection let me just say that one more time it's like it taught you to create it so i feel like from <laughs> from the pain that maybe like there was pain right there was like because there is this the five of cups there's pain here um and even we have like yeah so from this pain you learn um to work from it like so it's sort of like it, it gave you a sense of purpose it made you um if it didn't work out like it made you go like okay so what do i need to do it sort of motivated you and i think it motivated you to do to work more on yourself right self-love here work on your like the things that you care about and you love you're like ah we're not gonna like say yes to everybody just for the sake of saying yes to everybody um and so here there's also a sense of uh, understanding maybe the value of family for you or like having the stability and 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 you see that in order to achieve this, there's a sense of giving and also receiving. And so I think before you were very much a giver based on this. I think you were a person who said yes, yes, yes to, to others. You take, take on more than you could. And I feel like it's funny because this other person does the same thing, just maybe in a different way, manner, but it's still the same kind of energy. And you understood that that that's not how you like in order you give but then you also have to be willing to receive 
and those who just want to take and take and take, I believe you cut them out. And that's that's part of like the strength of this connection. Like this was a very important, like this was important. <laughs> so we have, yep. Look at this. I want you to see this. I want you to see this. So this is the makeup enhancing new outlook, hiding imperfection. No, it's not about hiding imperfections. It's about really honoring yourself. I feel like this connection allowed you to honor your true self. There was like, I feel like if there was like the 10 of swords, so it might have been a painful ending. Like, like I said, this was to me like a tower. Um, instead of lying in that 10 of, of swords, you've decided to kind of like glow yourself up. Like, be your best version of yourself. You're so, so like here you have financial restraints. Maybe there was a problem with finances, but again, it's sort of like it, it woke you up. It said, okay, I'm spending all this energy. I'm spending all this time doing something for somebody else. And I, I almost feel like that, like I said, it's, it's, it was one thing, but it, it went into like other things and so if you like it's almost like you started your own business or something where you're basically you started focusing on you and, and this is so important like the transformation yes yeah. so it's it again it's sort of like this like booming and blossoming that you needed to happen um you're better off as friends and i and, and the thing is here i'm not saying that that's like necessarily true but i think a foundation here is the a friendship in terms of like you're very similar like there's a, a sense of like mirroring here um yeah I, I just that's what i what i'm seeing here um and even though maybe it didn't feel like it that there was this helped you a lot um and hidden i <laughs> i think you were hiding maybe before you were like again it's because it was sort of like you're masking something right and i think this brought it out this like connection it's like cleared it up you no longer are hiding you are now more i feel like more in charge more you than you've ever been before and if you're not there yet i really do think that it's coming because that's sort of like this it, it's how do i say it's there's a blessing to this it's a very i know it's a strange kind of thing but that's how i'm seeing it I do want to see what love message comes through for you, my dear collective of group two. What is the love messages from why they uh, have this connection? Look at this. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Okay, you have two. <laughs> I'm not really like, well, I can kind of show it. I'm just trying not to show too much nudity because I'm not really. <laughs> YouTube doesn't like it. They say, no, 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 no. So we'll just read this. So soulmate, your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. And I do think for me, this is like a soulmate connection. Like, And I wanted to say better off as friends. I think that's the basis, the best basis for a, a real, like a real meaningful relationship and connection. You have to be friends first, like, or not friends first, but there has to be an element of friendship, right? Um, if you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind. For your heart is the gateway to the soul. And I think that's something you learned. Because, like I said, you you became this knight of wands. And look, even here, the knight of wands. The heart is what's leading you forward now. So, I hope you liked this reading. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. And please do consider subscribing. Um, I feel very honored that I was able to read this. Um, your cards and this is a beautiful connection let me just say that um regardless of where you are in this learning process um so thank you so much for being here i'm sending you so much love and so much light until i see you in the next one bye bye my dear friends hello my friends from group three i am so happy you are here so let's find out Ooh, what was this like why did you meet this person Okay, so I like this already. So round and round, there's a sense of overall, like there's a sense of cyclical, like things being in cycles. So maybe like this is something to help you get out of some sort of cycle. Um, I do like it though. Uh, what else did I, this can also like define, um, It's reminding me of the disc, the conch too, like this, which is it's sort of like rising, going up higher um, to a new consciousness. And so here we have health. I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. And so actually here with this health, this is also reminding me of your heart chakra. 
look, look at this green. It's that's what it is. It's like a heart chakra. It's almost like the health of your heart chakra, opening up your heart chakra. Um, and this is kind of also reminding me of the third eye right there too. So I feel like there's a sense of um, spirituality coming through. Like it's almost like it, it's helping you in some way attain a higher sense of of spirituality. Let's just. Yeah, there's the even the Ace of, of Swords kind of lets me know that that might be true. Seven of Wands, we have the Nine of Coins, Knight of Coins, Six. Oh, look at that. Look at that, my friends. Oh, my goodness. This is like, this is a strong, beautiful connection. I mean, I, I you could say that. <laughs> you could say that about all of them. Um, But no, this is especially lovely. Look at this Ace of 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 Swords. Um, so to me, that is the sense of clarity. It's almost like, yeah, like opening your third eye chakra right there. Um, the lovers. Ascend. And again, look at this. I want you to see the ascension. There's like an ascension. The love, the connection here helps you go up higher. Uh, let's see what other stuff is here. There's a sense of going from, wow, you go from the five of pentacles to the nine of coins to the knight of coins and then to the king of pentacles. This is sort of like a journey here too, even um, as you, maybe if you're, especially if you broke up in abandonment, but then you find yourself, your sense of self-worth and then in sort of like, and, and I also feel like this person is sort of like trudging along, moving slowly, putting, putting things um, like growing a strong foundation to be able to get this king of pentacles. This is sort of like, a, this in itself is sort of like a story here. <laughs> Um, here, there's a sense of confidence. It goes from being confident into like a little bit of confrontation, being able to um, stand up for what you believe is right. There's a sense of the full energy, like beginning. Oh, wow. it, it, there's a happiness here, I have to say. Uh, <laughs> I know it's like weird, right? Um, there's a sense of also like joy of, of having like taking a leap of faith here, then it kind of leads to lovers and then to a justice. So if you were, there's a potential here for like marriage or for some sort of like, um, I don't know, there's a potential here for some union. I, it's maybe not for everybody because <laughs> well, this is general reading, but it just feels interesting to me that there's the fool, the lovers, and then the justice. It sort of like seems like that's, that's what it is. Um, I feel like they give you a sense of confidence to stand up for what you believe. Um, so I'm going to actually clarify some stuff. <laughs> so let's clarify this oh, Five of Pentacles. Yeah, what, can, we, can you tell me about this Five of Pentacles? The Devil card. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Can you tell me about this Seven of Wands? Ten of Cups. What is this full energy? Eight of Wands. Here's with the Lovers. Eight of Pentacles. Wow. What is this? Here. King of Wands. Okay, there's a King of Wands, and again, and a Six of Wands. There's a sense of confidence. There's a sense of moving forward. Oh, look at that. Yeah, so believing in your happily ever after. There's a sense here of that Ten of Cups. It's like you're fighting for a happily ever after. Willing to do the, the I feel like you're willing to do the work here for it. Um, and so the, the Devil card is the my, the five of pentacles so let's say you actually did break up right and and you're not together there was a sense of abandonment here which actually brought out this the devil card it brought out all the insecurities it brought out all the old bad habits that we have but you needed to face it you needed to understand it's almost like you needed to in order to open that heart chakra and even your third eye you needed this to challenge you um, to get this to this point where you're a nine of pentacles, which there's a sense of independence, but a sense of self-worth that comes through here. You, it's sort of like you had to challenge yourself and you and you did, you succeeded or you're in the process of succeeding. Knowing that things are, it's, it's not going to be like overnight. It's going to be slow and steady, my friend, like this knight of pentacles. But what you amass with it, what you amass with it is the king of pentacles achieving the things that you want through your own like work, right? It's not like all of a sudden, boom, no. And even here you have this, you kind of learn that the lover's energy, there's work to being able to to keep a connection. And it's true. <laughs> I think it's always so funny cause like, you know, like all the shows and all like the stuff, they really just, they show like 
like the falling in love, they show the, like, you know, like, and there's some minor obstacles, but to keep the connection going, to keep any connection going or any relationship, it takes um, work on both parts, work from both parts. So I think that's an important new realization that I came through here. There's a sense of, yeah, like, I, I want to say, like, maybe for some of you, maybe you're more cautious. And this sort of opened yourself up to, hey, maybe I'm going to like, I, I feel like there's a sense of adventure here now. Um, yeah, I, I just, I feel like oh, you're so, there's confidence here, a lot more confidence. And I do find it like, because there's a sense of clarity that comes from this. Understanding, seeing things more clearly um, and seeing, I think that you really do want this 10 of cups. Uh, and then there's a sense of, from justice you're going to the six of wands confidence and so I feel like it's a confidence for you and it's a confidence for them see I, I always find it fascinating when they're like there's two like the same card comes out twice because it's sort of like that's an important thing sense of confidence sense of victory and again it's sort of like you're working your way to the king of wands or maybe they are themselves working towards the king of wands I think there's there was something about this connection that wanted made it made you and them want some sort of growth to achieve the things that you've been wanting. Uh, I think that this is something that both of you want. Uh, it's so fascinating. Uh, and then we have the King of Wands. So yeah, listening to your heart, maybe like being a leader that comes, I think, naturally. And again, it's, it's sort of like this is an evolution here. We have the stagnancy is affecting your love life and they are trying hard to earn your love. And I think there was a sense of stagnancy before. And this sort of like made you go it opened you up work in progress i want you to see there's a sense of broken here but i think the broken was probably the judgmentality here which is they're telling me a lot about this devil card so you probably thought you maybe were judgmental towards them but really you're the most judgmental towards yourself you're like i'm not good enough i'm nothing and you thought you were broken but really I think you understood that rather than being broken, you're actually a work in progress. They're a work in progress. And even this connection, <laughs> I wanna say, is also a work in progress. Um, there's a sense of sovereignty here that we have, like supreme power, wealth, and arrogance. No, it's it's again getting to, to be the king, king of wands, king of pentacles. It's sovereignty over yourself. It's being um, confident in yourself. Being able, to, like, uh, like a sort of a little bit like group, too, it's like being able to stand on your own two feet and I feel like they themselves wanted that to be able to stand on their own two feet um, and being able to to um, offer you a cup that is full offer you like you know like most people want somebody to fill their cup and that's that's not gonna like it, it can it can't really happen um, another person can fill the hole in your soul <laughs> only you can <laughs> um, the help of spirit always <laughs> so i think they're trying hard to earn your love i think it's like you like there was a sense of always trying to earn or always trying to earn others people's affection but not enough attention to yourself and and you, this person also had the same problem and now it's understanding it's like no first i have to learn earn the love for myself like i have to do you have to go in first um fill that cup of yours first and then you can actually have this ten of cups um Okay, let's see what, and so I think this is what, where we, you know, that's why you met them, because you needed that kind of a, a thing here. Um, and so here we have, this is your love message here. And so trust, transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. And then we have this one as well. So I'm trying not to show too much nudity or any nudity at all, because YouTube doesn't like it. So beware of what you are projecting for the qualities you admire in another are the qualities you both possess equals equally. So the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. And so again, it's maybe it's even like you broke that mirror. <laughs> it's like, nope, nope, nope. And like I said, there's a sense of judgmentality, um, maybe for them and you, I both, I feel like you both didn't think that you were good enough right there was always an undercurrent but now you have the six of, of wands and there's a sense of confidence understanding you had to face that devil energy you had to face that sense of like i'm not good enough and understand that we are all a work in progress 
So I hope you liked this reading. Um, if you did, please do give it a thumbs up and please do consider subscribing. Thank you so much for being here. It really does mean a lot to me. I feel very honored that I'm able to read your cards. And I, until I see you in the next one, I'm sending you so much love and so much light. Bye, my dear friends. friends from group four so here we have what is like what was your um connection all about and then we have chop wood and perseverance there's a sense here of needing to clean out this chop wood is getting rid of things um that aren't serving but knowing also what you need to keep so perseverance i know what i can do i know that i can do whatever i set my mind to um beautiful this is totally crown chakra right there so it's sort of like a crown chakra with also like the heart chakra involved here as well so it's sort of like i want to say you're almost learning how to manifest things and um but at the same time being willing to let go of things that aren't working or working for you um and so let's actually see what this is all about queen of pentacles five of cups three of cups Five of coins, two of blades, nine of sticks, ten of cups, well, seven of pentacles, six of pentacles, ten of pentacles, nine of pentacles, and the judgment. Wow, my friends, that's a whole lot of cards. Um, can you see all of them? Sort of, you can see kind of all of them, yeah. Okay. So this is your energy right here. This is the queen of pentacles, my friend. You are the queen of pentacles. Look at how lovely you are. <laughs> you're like, like, you do everything. I feel like that's what I'm seeing here. You're everything. You're such a nurturing person. So loving. And I, I could see that. Um, wow. But then there's the sense of sadness. Five of cups. So possibly this didn't work. And then the five of pentacles there. Yeah. And even the nine of six. So perseverance here, we have this. I'm actually like, I'm going to clarify because there's so much energy here. But I just feel like there's a sadness here. And it's almost <laughs> sort of like, wow, it's sort of like I feel this is for you and this is for them. Wow, 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 wow. And it's funny that not and normally not always the other person's energy comes through. But this one, they're there with you. That's what, I, what I'm seeing, what I'm going to tell you. They're there with you. Um... Yeah, let's see what this Five of Cups is doing here. Star healing. Yep, what is this Five of Coins doing here? The world. What is this Three of Cups doing here? Oh, wow. Well. It's actually interesting because we have the Ten of Pentacles and then the Five of Wands. Um, what is this Nine of Sticks doing here? Ace of Wands. What is this Two of Blades doing here? <laughs> I love that it's like and then like at the bottom of that one is the four of wands I think so I'm gonna actually separate this <laughs> I'm so sorry like I really do feel like this is their energy and this is your energy and so I'm gonna try to tell you because and I feel like their energies are kind of interchanged but this is really kind of because I see that queen of pentacles you do so much I feel like you do so, so, so much. Um, and sometimes this doing so much leaves you empty. Like all those cups are empty here. Um, and so, <laughs> oh, I see. There's a sense here also of like, you see how there's like a sense of cleaning and needing to clean and, and, and nurture and like, and you do it all happily. It's not like there's anything here, but I feel like there's a sense of needing to, yeah. Mm, Feel yourself here. I think you you do this. You want it to be everything for this person. You want it to do everything for this person. Like, oh my goodness, you love this person so much. You want it to do everything. But but the thing that, that even though you did all those things, and I, I don't feel like it panned out, right? And even though I think they themselves are going through their own thing, it, it was it's an important reminder that you can put everything in, but you kind of forgot yourself in the process. Yep, you did. There was a need for this. This five of cups needed to heal. So this connection was about reminding you 
that that yes, like you you can put all your love and you want to like have everything, um, but you forgot yourself and it needed to be healed. This needed to be healed. Um, and there's a sense here of like, and you you know like you have the sense of 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 perseverance. You have the sense of of you put your heart out there. I really want to say that. And so, and then you kind of I feel like it putting your heart out there and being so uh like so giving and so loving uh, especially to this person it actually hurt you it did like you have this five of cups there's a sense of here so it's almost like you're kind of cutting your losses a little bit but you're still a sense of it's not <laughs> it's not the end here it's not the end there's still like something something good comes out of this like this this nine of sticks kind of leads you to something else right it leads you to something even better i want to say to you because now you have the sense of 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 yourself of healing this um doing everything for for the for for being like you know trying to love this person it's so beautiful that you love them so much and i think they knew like they felt that that you love them so much um and we're going to go to the to them here there's a sense of going deep within yourself and and i think this was the choice because i feel like this was not easy for you i feel like you let this person go that was part of the chopping the wood letting this person go like when do you keep something and what do you let it go and i don't think you let them go like forever it's sort of just like you let them like they have to decide their own thing you kind of are deciding to put your energy and your focus on you and your healing um and so here's the two of blades and so this is the introspection and then i feel like it's almost like taking a whole other um the two of wands you went on a different path than you thought you would it and that's with this ace of wands it gave you a new sense of being um <laughs> I do like this ten of pentacles because it's it's sort of like you you are going to get this ten of pentacles. You're going to get something like I I feel like you're going to be recognized for all these amazing qualities. Maybe not from this person, but I do feel like this person will recognize all these things. Um but you I think you also have a sense of what you really want. You want this ten of 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 pentacles. You want like the joy the happiness like i want to almost say like a big family and enjoyment and there's a sense of like judgment here um i do think that a part of you hopes that somehow we will like this will come back in some way and i do think like the energy here allows for it if it makes sense but it's almost like <laughs> it's almost like you 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 went from <clears throat> doing everything by yourself like doing everything to almost understanding that there like let's go have fun like it's sort of like you burned yourself out in trying to sort of get this love and maybe it's not just in this particular person's love but trying to always like please others but not how do i say trying to show people how much you love them right and so <clears throat> now you can kind of see like instead of you doing everything by yourself going off somewhere it's like now you're part of the part the part of the party you're part of it all it's like okay now you kind of let others help you along the way it's like you don't have to do everything others can do it and it's even more fun when others do it this is really really like really interesting and so now let's go to this person and so this person i feel like lacked perseverance didn't understand about the perseverance I, and and i do think that there is a sense of and i love that you both have the 10 of pentacles because i feel like you both have this desire here um so the 3 of cups maybe there was a, a third party situation like it was i do feel like that there is like maybe this person was like um tempted by a third party and there was a lot of inner conflict here um and there might be like like maybe even family came in here as well like and was trying to like stir things up a little bit that does happen um but there's a sense here i like this person going from this five of coins look at this it's sort of like look, look at this it's it's you and them both not being happy them walking away i really do think that but they're ending this cycle which which is wonderful for them cuz they they need to stop um i i think you both have similar things that you really put so much emphasis on making the people that you love happy um and so i feel like this person might have not been with you because of that i don't like you, you know the situation a lot more than i do but i just i feel like that's a truth there 
um, there's a sense of like understanding, like there's ending the cycle of <sighs> abandonment, as I guess, a sense of almost just like giving up on things. It's, it's even here why that perseverance is, is there as well. And so they turn from this, I feel like they give up quickly. If it wasn't right away, they didn't like fighting, they didn't like arguing, they didn't like, they just sort of just walk, walking away was a lot easier for them. But the cost was high, I want to say that to them. And so it's almost like they now understand they go through this thing <laughs> where look, if you actually see this, look, they go through a five of coins and they go through this um, six of pentacles, understanding it's almost like they wished, wished, wished upon a wish, a wish upon a things. And, and, and they got some sort of answers. Like they understood maybe that they needed help or maybe that what they really wanted. I feel like they didn't know what they truly wanted. And I, I feel like they missed an opportunity with you. Um, they miss a sense of happiness here, but now they're working for it. They're having patience. They know themselves a lot more. And so I feel like they, again, with this Knight of Pentacles, they're heading towards <clears throat> something that they like a lot more. Um, but it's a slow progress. It's a slow process. I do want to see what this um, Ten of Cups is doing here. So I do feel like that they, that's what you made them. <laughs> yeah, there's a sense of great feeling. I do think that they have a very strong feeling for you still like that's the ten of cups i feel like that's what they're working towards what is this um knight of pentacles doing here the two of swords you have yeah they had the two of swords you had the two of swords right look at that like understanding what what do i put what do i um yeah look at that it's, it's a very mirroring here what is the seven of pentacles doing here the magician finally understanding yes the manifestation comes. You have to make the choice, right? Here's the sense of, of, of choosing. You may go slowly, right? Ch choosing to take action, even if it's a slow thing. And I almost feel like with the Joker being here as the Knight of Pen of the of, oh you can't really say sorry the Knight of Pentacles, it's almost like putting their own well being first, putting their own desires first. It's that they have like they've for a long time put other people's um, I guess views what they you know like their opinion other people's opinions further higher than uh, than themselves like that's what's important but now they they've changed that they know they have to have patience with it but even here with papai the sailor man it's sort of like understanding their own power of it and then they're starting to manifest the magician what is the six of pentacles doing here the queen of wands interesting deciding deciding what they want and going after their passion that's that's what it is i really do like this um because i feel like you both there was an underlying current of always like putting other per people first their opinions there like you know that like i understand it because you have so much heart to give and they do too and that's the beautiful thing i think there was <clears throat> a miscommunication here or, or a missed opportunity um I do think this person had, um, like, inter you had interference, like, this other person had interference from others, like, there was a lot of conflict, a lot of pa uh, things coming through here, like, that came in and, and interfered with this connection. Um, but the love is still there, my friends, and they're still working for it. I'm going to say that. Okay. There's a little, they're a little too clingy for, for my taste. There's a fairy tale. The consolation. Yeah, right there. Slow, slow again. It was, okay. So I have to say there was like, a slow again is the Knight of Pentacles. I think they're working towards it. There is a same sense here of divine timing needing to come through here. It was unstable, but like this actually reminds me of an Ace of Cups. I feel like there's a potential here with this. Um, but this connection was meant for your growth in terms of understanding the value of um well yourself but that that seems to always be the things but it's it's sort of like instead of um trying to, to get others to fill that that cup here really um filling it yourself like putting the love that you give out you also have to give to yourself a like a lot to, to fill yourself up. And then theirs is not always listening to what other people tell them. It's like being more, like having perseverance of like your desire, you have to work toward them. You see, there is a sense of reconciliation here and there's a fairy tale. Like it's almost like there's a waiting for the happily ever after ending here, good fortune, joyful life. Um, and they're a little too clean for your taste. <laughs> I think that, it, I think, I think you like 
they felt that you needed to be loved more than they could give you. And so here is your love message. Don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do. For it is only in being true to yourself that you can truly be true to others. And I think that's something that is very important that you both learn from here. And when you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories that you have to share with those you love. And there's a sense of understanding this. And so the true connection here, this is why why they understand. They like, it's more important. It's really about being honest with yourself. And I think that's the lesson we both learned. And understanding that real true love what it is and you have discovered this with this connection and they have to so don't give up on it my friends there's still something there so thank you so much for being here i feel so honored i was able to read your cards and until i see you in the next one bye bye my dear friends <laughs>